Once the structure is ready for concrete placement, there are a couple of steps that should be taken to ensure that the pour goes smoothly. It will be important to pull a string line around the outer perimeter of the walls and hold it up from the corners with strapping. If the wall is not being terminated, it will be important to tape over the interlock to ensure it's kept free from concrete flowing into the interlock, which can prevent a form connection for the next course of forms. Next, sight lengthwise down the wall and adjust the turnbuckles on the diagonal braces until the wall is slightly concave with respect to the string. You will use the alignment system to finish straightening the wall after concrete placement. It's important to ensure you follow the pre-placement concrete checklist and refer to the tools for concrete placement located in the Nudura installation manual. By following this guide, you'll be sure that the concrete pour goes smoothly. The concrete mix design must meet the engineer's specifications and conform to national and local standards, regulations, or codes having jurisdiction. For the recommended Nudura compatible concrete mix, refer to the concrete specifications and placement section of the Nudura installation manual. Various methods of placement can be used depending upon the accessibility to the site and the characteristics of the project. Other variables such as temperature, mix design, and reinforcing pattern in the wall may influence the builder's decision as to the technique selected for the concrete placement. The most common method is a concrete pump. For other methods of concrete placement, refer to the Nudura installation manual. When using a boom pump, it's important to have a maximum 4 inch or 102 millimeter diameter reducer followed by a double 90 degree bend to reduce the velocity of the concrete entering the wall. In addition, it's recommended to use a 3 inch or 76 millimeter diameter flexible hose to better control the concrete flow, especially when working with a 4 inch or 102 millimeter cavity Nudura form. Be sure to wear proper protective equipment when placing the concrete. Fill the areas below the windows first and then work towards the corners. Do not point the discharge tube directly into the corners. Fill the areas adjacent to the corners and allow the natural flow of concrete to carry it into place. As per ACI 304 and CAN CSA A23.1, in North America, concrete placement rates should not exceed 4 feet or 1.2 meters of lift per hour. When placing concrete, the contractor should avoid stopping a pour against a buck or in a corner. To ensure the concrete bonds to all reinforcing steel, anchors, and embedded parts such as bearing plates, the concrete must be consolidated. Nudura recommends internal mechanical vibration as the most effective method for consolidating the concrete. A 3 quarter to 1 inch or 19 to 25 millimeter head diameter concrete vibrator is the most versatile since it can be used with any Nudura wall width. Ensure that the vibrator is long enough to reach to the bottom of the wall. To ensure proper consolidation, it's recommended that you insert the vibrator quickly and remove it slowly at a rate of about 3 seconds per foot, or 0.3 meters. When consolidating subsequent lifts, the consolidating tool must completely penetrate the lift and extend into the upper portion of the previously placed lift to ensure proper mixing of the concrete at the interface between these lifts.
Now that the concrete has been placed, recheck the wall alignment against the string line and tweak it if necessary. Clean any concrete splash from the footings, forms, and alignment system. Do not remove the alignment system at this time, since the concrete has to be supported for at least 48 hours while it cures. If the wall is being terminated, finish the concrete one and a half inches or 38 millimeters below the top of the forms to allow room for a sill plate. Screed the concrete level and wet set the sill plate anchor bolts. In this example, the installer will be building to the roof and has stopped the concrete pour just below the top of the wall. Wet set dowels approximately 40 inches or 1.02 meters in length, about halfway, to avoid a cold joint. Once the work is complete, the crew finishes off with final cleanup of the site and equipment. A post-placement concrete checklist is available in the Nudura installation manual.